I guess the thing is that after being injured, I realized that legacy of war had become my life as well. You know, I, I live with the legacy of war every day of my life. And so what went from being a project went to becoming my own life. And my desire and drive to do it just increased. You know, for me, it's, it's really important to always think about the end product of a project. So when I started a project like this, I can only tell you what my eyes see, I was already thinking about what it would look like at the end, and that really helps the whole process of shooting. I tell stories, you know, and I want those stories to be shared. I want to start conversations. And I think as photographers, it's very easy to think your job is finished when you've taken the photograph and you're done you hand it over to a magazine or you hand it over to somebody that does something with it. For me, I'm thinking, okay, so what do I do now? How do I put it in an environment where people come, they look at the photographs, they listen to the stories, and then they do something about it? So exhibitions are great for that, but I also feel sometimes they can be a little sterile, um, and sometimes a little bit what I call the chapel experience. It's like you go there, you very quietly look at the picture and say, wow, and then move on to the next one. And of course, for some work, that's great, but for mine, that doesn't feel right, because it should be a conversation. So in my head, I was thinking, with this project, what can I do in the exhibit to make people see it in a different way? And the first thing I thought was music. You know, take away the silence. So the guys from Massive Attack are writing a soundscape. They've come up with a great idea, sampling uh, radios from, from um, the Middle East. So that immediately, I think, lightens the mood because then people start talking. They don't feel, they sort of have to be in silence. And then I was thinking, well, what is key in my photographs? What keeps cropping up again? What is it that makes me take better photographs, and it was food. And I thought, well, brilliant, why don't I bring food into the exhibition? So we've got this table that seats 100 people. I call it my, my wedding table, um, sort of Mediterranean wedding table, where people come, and every evening we have a supper club, and you sit there, and you chat. You know, food is incredibly democratic. Uh, food is an opportunity to sit with a stranger and become friends. And so the idea is, you know, you go there, you see these photographs, hopefully you'll be moved by these stories, and then you sit with people, you sit with strangers, and you talk about what you've seen. And my one hope, my one hope from this exhibition is not that anybody says to me, oh, you've taken a great photograph, or your work's really brilliant. My one hope is that somebody comes to this and is moved and inspired to go and do something.